Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Technology giant Siemens is funding and building a science and technology high school at former President Nelson Mandela's birth town Mvezo in the Eastern Cape. The high school is the first in the area. Joanne Taylor reports. The Mandela School of Science and Technology is a collaboration between Siemens, the Mvezo Development Trust, the Department of Basic Education and the people of Mvezo. It will provide an opportunity for 700 learners from 24 feeder primary schools to complete a high school education from January next year. Siemens is funding the 100 million rand project and the first three years of operational costs as part of its corporate social responsibility program. The school boasts reliable energy solutions from three wind turbines, a solar hybrid system to power the resource centre and administration building, energy efficient lighting and a secure water supply involving rainwater catchment systems. The school has 25 classrooms, an assembly hall, a science laboratory, a resource centre housing, a library, two computer centres and an engineering design centre. It has housing for 12 teachers, a kitchen, sports facilities, gardens, paved parking and a food garden that will form part of the practical education for agricultural studies. The school is one of nine Mandela schools worldwide and it will partner with the Mandela School in Berlin, Germany for guidance in the form of student and teacher exchange programmes to transfer knowledge. SVP Quantity Surveyors Director Andre Fulyun discusses the new high school in Umvezo. Firstly, um, rainwater harvesting. Uh, we are catching rainwater due to the, scarce, the water scarceness in this area. Um, there's two huge reservoirs on site. We're catching all the rainwater into the reservoir, pumping it up to the top reservoir and then it gravitates back. We have also installed um, wind turbines as, as well as solar panels to reduce the monthly cost of, electrical, um, of the electrical bill and we are subsidizing it by about 20%. A lot of people have been trained in this area. There are currently 100 people to 120 people working on site from this direct Mvezo area. They'll be left behind with skills. They've been trained through a Siemens program into bricklayers, plumbers, elect electricians, plasterers, as well as tilers. Except just for the, for the current construction, uh, this is the first high school, secondary school in this area. And due to that, all the kids in this area will be able to come to high school in their own Mvezo proximity. Other news making headlines this week, only United Action will bolster Africa's infrastructure delivery bargaining power. Steel supplier NJR officially opens its automated Gauteng facility and Sirens launches a 750 tonne capacity hydraulic crane. The bargaining power of individual African countries to both accelerate infrastructure delivery and insist upon higher levels of localization, technology transfer and skills development can only be achieved through united action, says South Africa's Public Enterprises Minister Malusi Gigaba. So we need to scrutinize the value of trade, how it is changing the character of our economies and contributing to our socio-economic development challenges as the continent. Africa must seek greater benefits from, its BRICS, from the BRICS Forum and yet we must not sell our souls in order to receive investments from anywhere in the world. Steel product supplier NJR Steel Reinforcing officially launched its fully automated factory in Northlands Industrial Park in Gauteng last month, during which the facilities and the latest technology in steel reinforcing were introduced. Uh, the machines that we've introduced into the NJR Steel Group is uh, uh, purpose-made, state-of-the-art, reinforcing steel processing machinery. The, the company spent in excess of 5 million rand investing in uh, the machines that are currently on our floor now. What makes them different to standard machinery is they are uh, computer controlled. They are the latest and greatest that you can get. Um, they are the latest technology in processing and of course they give good accuracy and high production rates. 
Heavy Lifting Solutions multinational Sirens of Belgium has officially launched a new 750-ton hydraulic crane manufactured by Germany-based construction machinery manufacturer Liebho. We're here today launching our LTM 1750, which is new to the country. It's a 750-ton hydraulic crane. The nice thing about the machine is it's completely self-sufficient when it travels to site. So to be able to get our, our axle loadings right for traveling on the road, uh, we strip the machine down to basically a base crane, travel it to site. When it gets to site, it can actually assemble itself. It's very small and compact in, in crane comparisons and it's got very reduced counterweight. It's only got just over 200 tons of counterweight. Um, it can get to a hook height of 165, 156 meters. When you travel the entire machine, it actually only runs with 22 trucks on site. So um, it's basically showing our confidence in the market and how we believe the market is growing and developing in this country and in the southern African countries. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.